Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. Today we're talking about how every personality type in the MBTI responds to flow and energy and motivation. So, in my last video, I introduced steady, dominant, conscientious, and influential types. I marked the ISTJ as the most steady, the INFP as the most conscientious, the ENFJ as the most dominant, and the ESTP as the most influential. This is just based on how they tend to come off in society. The yellow type tends to easily get people to listen to them. They keep an audience, they keep people interested, they keep people hooked. They keep things interesting, they keep people going. They are able to maintain and keep the word to themselves and they are able to have a lot of influence and say in the world's real life day-to-day -day matters. The INFP is marked as the character of conscience, of ethics, of awareness, of the search of understanding philosophically about something, the desire to think about something, to understand something, to go deeper into something, to think of something from multiple angles and nuances, to consider it from multiple sides, to see all sides, to understand different parts of the picture. The ENFJ is marked as the most dominant type, the most passionately emotional type, the one with the strongest will emotionally and the strongest desire to push for their own feelings, to speak out for what they believe in, to go out and fight for something they feel emotionally and intuitively is the right thing to do. So the ENFJ has strong outward emotion and is very pushy about what they believe in, but might lack the yellow or influential type's ability to feel heard and understood for what they believe in. The ISTJ might have the steadiness and the principles and the logical awareness of how things are and how they work and how they should work, but they might also feel that other people don't listen to them or keep making the same mistakes or keep doing stupid things over and over, even though you told them, you told them explicitly that it was not going to work. The INFP might feel that they lack the dominance and the fire and the passion that they see in the ENFJ personality type or for example the steadiness and calm and poise that ISTJs have. Yeah, we can look at each other so we can see a lack from different sides. Now I'm gonna introduce to you all kinds of different ways to look at the personality types. Let's start by group grouping them by adapters and leaders. The INFJ, the INTJ, the ISTJ and the ISFJ are best described as leadership types. The ESFP, the ENTP, the ENFP and the ESTP are best described as adapter types. The adapters like picking up new things, they like gathering new information, they like finding out different things, they like seeing and learning and scouting out new patterns. They like having as many experiences of, as possible to do new things, to see new things happen, to be able to jump at a new opportunity. The leaders like taking things carefully, working step by step at something, thinking about where something is going, focusing on the big picture, seeing how it all connects, focusing on when and where and how to do something, thinking long term about where something is headed or where it will go, organizing something and thinking about where it fits and where it's best put, taking an idea and processing it and deciding how to implement it and where and when. The ability to look at and to see something and think about how to execute it. The leader is execution oriented and the leader is personally oriented. Their focus is on the whole. What do I want to do? How do I want to do it? Where do I want to go with it? The leader often misses out on new opportunities. The adapter likes to sheen and spot new changes but struggles with consistency, often feels they are jumping from place to place with no clear idea of where they are going, often feel that they are lacking in clear goals and a sense of direction, often struggling to know how to get from one point to the other. Besides the adapter and the leader, we have the managers and we have the advisors. Now the INFP, the ISTP, the ISFP and the INTP are best marked as advisors. This means they like to think about how something could be done 
and how it could be put to practice. They like looking at different things that could happen, how it could happen. They like to theorize about it, study it, learn as much as possible about it, get as much data as possible from it. They like to stay, think long and hard about something. What could happen? How could it happen? What could it do? How could I do it? Their approach is to learn and to understand and study something rather than to do something with it. The question is not what do I do with it? The question is how does it work? The interest is in learning and gaining awareness of something. Gaining and get, being able to give feedback about something. The advisor is able to say how things are and how they should be. The advisor is able to give feedback and insight into various matters. They can help us explain morally what is right and wrong or on a system level how we should do something and how it should, we should not do something. The manager types, they are characterized by a desire to want to put to practice, to make something a reality to influence how something is done, to exercise control over something. They like to focus on control over their surroundings. Their focus is what is happening around me and how can I organize it and how can I make it work better. Their focus is, is things are things productive? Are people being good to each other? Are people doing things the right way? Could they do it better? Could they do it differently? Are people following and meeting up to the goals we should be meeting up to? What could they do to meet their goals better? The manager looks at and sees and intervenes in the system around them, in the community around them, giving people advice and feedback and putting on them a sense of uh, an idea of uh, community. They spread a sense of a community or a bigger sense of system. They make people feel like there is a process for things. There is a a conduct, a social ethical code of conduct. They show us that there are ways to do uh, things together, to work together, to make things happen. The managers are the people that see how we could all communicate and get along better together. Then you have the dreamer types. The dreamer types are the NFs, the ENFPs, the INFPs the INFJs and the ENFJs. So the dreamer types are characterized by having, in a sense, dreams and ideals, but also by having an intuitive and free flow approach to life, wanting to do things based on feelings and motives and intentions and values and ethics, rather than principles, systems, logics, routines, or standards that are known to society. The dreamers like to come up with and imagine how things could be, how my life could be, how I could be happier, who, what I could be doing, where I could go, who I could meet, what I could, who I could talk to, what I could uh, do to make a difference on an ethical level, what I could say how I could uh, communicate what I could do together with other people. The dreamers are best put against the practical types, the ISTJs, the I ISTPs, the ESTJs and the ESTPs. The ESTPs and the ISTJs are characterized by a practical stance to life. So their focus is on how things are best done, how do I deal with something productively, efficiently, logically, how can I best respond to something directly, concretely, practically, what could I do that will solve the problem, what can I do that will deal with the issue, what can I do that will make things better. The approach is how can I use my awareness and understanding of what I already know, what I've gathered, what I've experienced, how can I, what can I do right now, right here to make things better? What, what have I learned so far and how can I put it to practice in this situation? What do I know and how can I use that to solve the problem at hand? The practical type has the most direct outlook to life. The dreamer has the most indirect and fluid and free flow. The practical type is the most systematic and comprehensive approach to problems, the most focused on defining things, understanding things, describing things, and understanding things in a systematic level. 
Then there are the innovators, and the innovators, they are the INTPs, the ENTPs, the ENTJs, and the INTJs. The innovators are people characterized by ideas and problems and solutions. They think in terms of what they could do, what we could do, hypothetically speaking, what could we do to make things better, what possibilities might we have. How could we possibly do things differently? What ideas might work if we test them out? What theories or examples or ideas can we come up with get that could possibly explain things better than we currently do right now? The focus is on improving, making things better, making things more efficient, making things more productive, coming up with methods, frameworks, solutions outside the box that will deal with the problems at hand. The innovators are best put against the socials, and the socials, the SF types, they are best known as ICFJs, ESFPs, ISFPs, and ESFJs. So the SFs, they are characterized by a desire to want to dis real deal with problems socially. What can we do together? What are, do the, does the group want? What could we, who are the people around me? Who do I know? Who could help me? Who could know this problem? Who might have the answer? The social types believe in that of using community and of using themselves and their own understanding to deal with a problem. Who am I and what can I do? There is a problem at hand. Who am I and how can I solve the problem in a way that fits with who I am? What can I say to make things better for other people? Is there something I can do that will help others? Is there something that I can do that will make things different for other people or for society or for the community. The social type is focused on what people do and what they like and what they enjoy and what they dislike. The social type is and wants to understand the social community, what trends are going on, what's modern, what's popular, what people are doing, what's out of date, out of fashion, ugly and uh, has no place in the community anymore. The social type believes there are that we, are, we can do things together and so they focus on that of cooperation or talking with people or dealing with people in an agreeable or disagreeable manner. And they will do it because they love it. Every personality type will want to do what they love, will try to do things in a way that they like, will try to do things that they love. It's only when they are and feel cornered that they do otherwise. And it's only in stress that these things tend to change. So perhaps in my next video we will be talking about stress and what happens and how each personality type responds to stress.